Were you there that night? At the studio? No. No, no I was I was at home. I was in I was at home. But you know, Stretch was my dude. On his Come On Son podcast, Ed Lover talks Tupac and Biggie with guest Michael Rappaport, where Ed Lover says Tupac snitched. Former MTV VJ Ed Lover has been a staple in the New York hip-hop scene for decades and has been fortunate enough to have memories with both Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur. He was always laughing, man. That's one thing I know about Big. Whenever I was with Big, and there's a lot of times I was with Big and Pac together, we were always laughing about something. That dude loved to laugh. He loved to joke and stretch too. As we all know, Tupac and Biggie's friendship took a turn for the worse after Tupac was shot five times in Quad Studios. I think he forgot that same shit that made him want to kick it with me is the same shit that's whooping his ass right now. Right, right, right. And that's why when he talks, you can hear it in his interviews. He want to say, I wish I could take this shit back, but he can't. He, he already committed himself to lying. Right. So now the only thing he can do is act like he don't know what the Going on. But people don't realize we didn't really have cell phones like that. Right. We had the two-way pages right. and stuff like that. So you two-way, yo, I'm at the airport, somebody come scoop me. Or if Big was in Atlanta when Pac had the house in Atlanta, Big would come through. It's horrible to see two guys that were really, really, really tight on opposite ends of things. He was just like flabbergasted, like, why is this happening? I did nothing to do. Responding back to Ed Lover's claims was Outlaws member Edie I mean. Two-way pagers weren't out when Pac was alive, making this interview flawed at best. Also, in the Vibe interview, Pac never said any names. It was because Pac talked in that Vibe magazine article when that rape uh, right. sexual assault happened. Right. He named names. And where we come from, that snitching. <sighs> Nowhere in the Vibe interview conducted by Kevin Powell did Tupac mention any names. In fact, the Vibe interview was conducted and released in April of 1995 after Tupac's 1994 Quad Studio shooting. Who shot you? Big went back into the studio. He took Pac's gun. When the cops and them showed up, he put it in the piano in the studio and closed the piano. When the cops came, Big walked back into the studio, put Pac's gun in his waist and walked right out of the studio. Why would you do that for somebody you allegedly and supposedly set up? The police was like, we know that there's guns up here. We're gonna search this floor. And there was one guy, short guy, that was with Tupac and them. He didn't leave when they left. And he was just on the wall stiff. And I was like, yo, you good? He was like, yeah. I bought him in what they call the live room. And I searched him. He had a hammer on him. Took it off his waist, <coughs> put it in the piano. And I said, the cops are gonna search this floor. So now, you know, let a couple days go by and you can come back and get your shit. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Ed Lover calling Tupac a snitch. And as always, like the video and subscribe for more Tupac Uncensored Rewind.